Children are born creative. How do we foster this creativity? How do we give them the space that they need? Do we allow them to get bored? All of this and more coming up, so stay tuned. You're watching the internet's leading early childhood innovation channel. Each week, we release new videos spotlighting innovation in preschools, kindergartens, and early childhood centers from all over the world. Welcome back to Early Childhood Innovation. Today, we're at the Papamoa Center with Above and Beyond. I'm joined by Olivia, which is great. Today, we had the real pleasure of being led by a local artist who came in to support the children as they use paints and natural materials to create their own artistic masterpieces. After that, we're going to, Olivia and I are gonna have a chat about some of the learning moments and what happened while the artist was here. If you haven't already, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon, which will give you a notification every time we post a new video so you can keep up to date. Hope you enjoyed the video. Can you tell me a little bit more about the artist who came to teach the children today? His name is Timo Renly and he is a local artist from Mount Monganui. Um, and the reason we kind of got involved with him is because of his beach scenes. So he kind of lives on the beach, paints the beach, and it seemed like a great synergy for us or, you know, partnership that we could work with him for the centre. Um, and he kind of is like all great artists, you know, like quirky and does amazing pictures and um, sparks that imagination in people. Mm. Yeah, and as you can see, when he worked with the children, he was just at their level mm. and it's his first um, activity with us. So it was great to see the children's response to it oh, as well. They were, yeah. It seems so natural for yeah, the children and him. Yeah, and I think they are at that age where they lap anything like that up you know mm. the creativity and anybody who is living out of their passion is really inspiring for them mm -hmm. and it was I thought we taught him a bit as well which was yeah. quite nice you know yeah. like this is the way um you know water doesn't have to be blue you know I, yes. I want my daughter water red and yes. things like that and he was able to accept yeah. that <laughs> yeah because yeah. yeah. it is a different age group working with you know a four-year-olds on yeah. a set activity it was interesting to see how he led them through how he found the materials and put them together and and got their curiosity but then really gave them the chance to paint their fish however they thought their fish should be That's and right. with the different patterns yeah. and exactly as you were saying water doesn't have to be blue. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. That's right. And I think he um, had found his inspiration from nature, you mm -hmm. know, like they'd been for a walk along the beach and he mm -hmm. talked to them about that. What could I do with this and what was lying on the mm -hmm. beach? And so I think it was a great process for them to see his thoughts behind mm -hmm. why he got to that point. So, right. yeah, I think it was amazing. Yeah. And it also kind of links in a lot of what, what we've been chatting about of using resources that are available and especially naturally available and being creative and innovative to design different activities for children to interact with. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it really has been, like for that kind of um, process of him using what's around him mm -hmm. and how we can do that too. And mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's been great for children to be inspired by somebody like yeah. that. What would maybe some advice you can offer to to parents wanting to bring art and art expression into homes? Children are naturally creative. I think we've talked to that about that a little mm. bit. So it's really just giving them the space, the opportunity to have time to think, you know, rather than offering the solutions all the time. It's a weird word, but probably to be bored, you know, to go through that boredom stage. Mm -hmm. um, and then just being there to provide access to materials that they might want to use. So mm -hmm. it could be sheets and for forts or, mm -hmm. um, yeah, old bricks for building or however you want to do it. But it doesn't have to be expensive. Mm -hmm. It just has to be kind of the stuff that you use at home. And often mm -hmm. we bring a box in here and mm -hmm. everybody wants to play with the box. We've got yeah. all the resources in the world, but they want to sit in the box, paint the box, yeah. cut it up. Sometimes it just gets cut and that's it. Yep. Sometimes it turns into a car. We never know where yeah. they're going to take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even the, the loose parts this morning of the parts being turned into a fire truck. Yeah. And I'm sure yeah. we would have never imagined no, that's right. that direction. Yeah. But yeah. And it's so exciting as an educator to be like, have where you think it's going to be in your head, but then take it to a whole new place. Mm -hmm. And it's just so exciting to watch it unfold mm -hmm. and just see the natural creativity that comes out. Yeah. I'm quite passionate about um, teaching creativity and 
um, thinking outside the box. And I think we've talked about this again before about um, information being at your fingertips. You know, now if you, a child needs to know something, you get the iPad, mm -hmm. what's the answer? But it's about allowing them to have the space and the time to be like, okay, what am I going to do with this now? Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. all the opportunities that mm -hmm. it's open to them. Yeah. And um, that will probably equip them more than anything for the future and whether it's music or I can dance and move my body mm. or I can create something on a piece of paper or mm. anything and what that means to them and what that expression that they use to mm -hmm. share mm -hmm. that with others. Mm -hmm. so. And how do you think you best encourage them to find the ways that they want to use the information? I think that's a good question. <laughs> and <laughs> as an educator, like it's always your aim, but you never know whether you're actually doing a really good job because, mm -hmm. like I said, you don't know what the final product is, you know, like where they're going to take it at the mm -hmm. end. So you can't measure it. You can't be like, oh, yeah, they they excelled in that way because that was what I had the aim for them, you know. So they, um, it's kind of like if you're blown away and if you are surprised by what comes out you feel like you've probably done your job right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and they yeah and they get excited too you know yeah. like and i'm sure they can they can feel and see your excitement when it's gone in a completely different direction than you would have anticipated and that's really authentic yeah you know, and as as an educator to unpack it and be like this is the learning that happened here mm -hmm. and for the parents to see this is the learning that happened there and it doesn't have to be sitting at a table with a pencil, you yeah. know, yeah. whether you write your name. I think like the artist had his signature on the bottom there in squiggles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it wasn't like straight and things mm -hmm. like that. And mm -hmm. that children will be able to sign their art today mm -hmm. with their name, whether they can spell it or not. But it's yeah. still, this is who I am. This is right. me. This is my right. product. The one yeah. little girl was sort of saying, I don't know how to write my name, but you kind of reinforce that however you are putting your name, that represents you however it might be yeah so. yeah we'll know it's yours yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah i've been at above and beyond for a long time now for me it's i found somewhere where that does align with my values that's mm -hmm. innovative in the sense of we never do things the same way ever unless it's really working mm -hmm. like there's the freedom to try something mm -hmm. and if it doesn't work we tried mm -hmm. and um, I think that filters down from Colleen as the owner and mm -hmm. someone that started the business and she's quite, um, let's just give it a go, you know, so the things that we've done that I never thought I could personally do, like mm -hmm. put on an event, I'm, I'm an educator, <laughs> I did an mm -hmm. education degree, mm -hmm. I'm not an events planner, but it's kind of like, let's just go for it. Mm -hmm. And that attitude really does filter down. And mm -hmm. so for me, that connects with challenging myself. So although I'm in the same company, mm -hmm. I've had um, the opportunity to try new things, mm -hmm. be challenged, and constantly be thinking, how can we do this better mm -hmm. that results in better outcomes for children? Mm -hmm. So it enhances mm -hmm. their learning, enhances their well-being all of that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. I think that in itself is infectious and you want to be around a place that's like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take risks yourself. And, yeah. you know, being yeah. a risk taker yourself, yeah. it and spirals down and yeah. encourages the children and, yeah. and being encouraged yeah. to take those risks. Yeah, and what's to lose? <laughs> you do make mistakes along the way and you do think, ah, oh, that wasn't for us, but we're still here and we're still enjoying what we're doing, we're still mm -hmm. passionate about it and yeah, I think it's a great journey to be on, yeah. That brings us to the end of our first season of Early Childhood Innovation with Above and Beyond Centres in Tauranga, New Zealand. Thank you for joining me as I explored the wonderful environments and practices at Above and Beyond. On behalf of Story Park, I'd like to take a moment and thank the Above and Beyond Centers for allowing us to spend time together and share so much of their knowledge. From your perspective, I want to know, did you like the series? What would you like to explore in the future? Go ahead and leave a comment below. Thanks once again, and remember that everyone's an innovator. Thank you.